Please subscribe Sporta TV for more information, MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. Ducati are prioritizing how to keep Marco Bezzecchi long-term, with the possible exit of Muni VR46 to Yamaha a mitigating factor. Bezzecchi's demand for a 2024 spec Desmosetta Sci next season can be met by Ducati if he stays with VR46, but moving him to Pramac Racing remains an option. This is because of Muni VR46's potential plan to swap Ducati for Yamaha in 2025, complicating Bezzecchi's status. Certainly, we are finding the best solution for Marco, for the teams we support and for the relative technical condition, Ducati Sporting Director Paolo Giabatti told Motosprint. I state and confirm how much Bezzecchi interests the company, in fact, the theoretical proposal would be a two-year agreement. Marco would like to stay within the VR46 team, pursuing a sensible path from a competitive and professional point of view. At the same time, we have on our side the need to understand how to distribute the Gee bikes. Ducati's factory duo Francesco Bagnaia and Ania Bastianini, plus Pramac pair Jorge Martin and Johan Zarco, currently use up-to-date machinery. Next season, the updated spec bike could be given to Bezeki instead of Zarco. There will be four GP24S, the others will race from the previous year's version, Jabati said. The objective of directly acquiring Bezeki is real, in progress, however we must establish, together with Marco's management, whether the equipment will be guaranteed, with the UVR46 structure or through the Promac team. It would seem like a silly matter, it's not at all. The issue is that Ducati want to reward Bezeki for his breakthrough season by giving him a two-year contract with the promise of an official bike, but after one year the Muni VR46 team might leave for Yamaha. I don't hide and we don't hide what I have already read and learned, Jabati said about the VR46 Yamaha reports. The negotiations between Valentino Rossi's team and Yamaha are the result of reliable rumors. So, precisely, if Bezeki wishes to stay there in 2024, what happens if in 2025 the team switches from Desmosetisai to M1? Otherwise, if Marco were included in the Pramac team, we at Ducati would be more calm. Bezeki won his first Grand Prix in the Premier Class this season in Argentina and remains a MotoGP title contender heading into this weekend's British MotoGP at Silverstone. His win was also the first for Rossi's Mooney VR46 team in the Premier class. Ducati's desire to hang on to Bezeki will create an awkward situation for Zarco, the Promac rider. The situations of Jorge Martin and Johan Zarco need to be examined, Jabati said. The Spaniard, already a winner and back in super shape, remains in his place. We are really happy to see him at the top, considering the several sufferings he experienced in the recent period. Now we have the rider we know, and the results explain it exhaustively. As for the Frenchman, I admit that we would like to keep him, as he is fast, good at testing and experienced. It is also true how he is no longer very young, since he is a few years older than his peers. I sincerely hope not, we are working to have him still with us, although he has been sought out by different manufacturers and by teams outside ours. The current and future point regarding Johan is linked to another interesting writer, Marco Bezzecchi. On the other hand, Ducati insists that recruiting Marc Marquez would not fit their policy and they deny ever contacting him about a move. The Honda Star Rider's future is constantly up for debate after a torrid couple of years, and with time ticking on a contract that expires at the end of 2024. The six-time MotoGP champion retains his brilliance but age and injuries are also a factor, making Marquez's future the topic of hot debate. Ducati sporting director Paolo Giabatti was asked if they have ever contacted Marquez about a move and he answered to Motosprint, honestly not. Mark is a great champion, struggling today on an uncompetitive Honda. The sense of respect nurtured for the eight-time world champion is unconditional, but our policy is based on precise strategies. When we separated, with difficulty, from Andrea Divizioso, 
we introduced a system to favor young people who are all doing well. From the satellite or independent team, promotion to the official investment, here is Francesco Bagnaia, currently the best writer around. Clearly thanks to him, we have been able to value it. Unity is strength, here we all win together. Marquez will return to action at the British MotoGP at Silverstone this week languishing behind the dominant Ducati, whose three riders Bagnaia, Jorge Martin and Marco Bezzecchi are battling for the title. Jabati addressed Ducati's 2024 rider lineup, I think Pecco can be defined as untouchable. Therefore, it is almost obvious to specify that he will remain for at least one more year. This can be extended to Ania Bastianini, honestly speaking, he was unlucky at the beginning of the season because he was injured and forced to miss out several times. This Italian duo constitutes the present and near future of the factory team, so I won't add any doubts about it. On the other hand, Ducati have a vacant seat in their 2024 rider lineup which they insist is desired by multiple riders. Fabio Dijan Antonio appears destined to lose his Grazzini racing seat, opening up a space within the Ducati clan. Very coveted, sporting director Paolo Giabatti described the Grazzini opportunity to motosprint. The names that have requested the seat go beyond imagination. Can you imagine many? There are more. Moto2 star Tony Arbolino has been seriously linked with the seat, and Franco Morbidelli is an obvious option after news that he will leave Yamaha. We still have to decide who will go to the Ducati managed by Nadia Padovani's team, one is for Alex Marquez, the other, who knows, Jabati said. I can only say that it's a podium bike, that's the reason for its attractiveness. Ducati have eight bikes on the grid, compared to four from Honda, KTM, Aprilia, and just two from Yamaha. We offer a complete package on reasonable and affordable terms, explained Jabati. In the free market, they chose us, there must be a reason. Anyone who accuses us of being too many is wrong. We do our job at our best, it's the teams and the riders who come to us. That's why, even if minimally, we earn. How long is eight bikes sustainable on the MotoGP grid? As long as there is a chance, he said. Definitely completing 2024, we'll see later. At the end of next season, the agreements of many riders, teams and sponsors will expire. We will probably see some kind of revolution, maybe not from our side. We count on a line of continuity undertaken for years, we will continue like this. Of course, the track is the element that conditions the decisions, however, crossing our fingers, we feel satisfied with the established system. The intention to continue to excel represents the Ducati target, today as in 2025 and beyond. <laughs>